Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Hannah will be sharing 10 cute and fun nail art designs that are easy to create. You won't need any special tools for these designs, just household items. Let us know down in the comments which design is your favorite. And now, let's get started. Hi, it's Hannah. So before anything else, apply a base coat to help protect your nails. The first design is for some easy retro dots using pink, black, and white polish with pink as the base color. Stretch out a bobby pin and use one of the sides to apply black polka dots to the nail. Now apply white dots over the black ones but slightly to the side. Next up we have paint splatter nails using white, blue, pink, and yellow polish with white as the base color. Take a straw and dip it into the pink polish, then blow through the straw onto the nail to create the splatter look. Do the same for the other colors. Remove the liquid latex around the nail if you applied it and then clean up any excess polish. This design is for some DIY striping tape using blue and silver polish. First, paint the silver polish onto some scotch tape and while it's drying, apply the blue polish for the base color. Once the silver is dry, remove the painted area and cut thin strips of the tape. Now just apply it however you like, I'm doing a double stripe look. Be sure to clip off any excess tape. Now we have a cute heart print design using white and pink polish with white as the base color. Use a toothpick to first create two small pink dots. Then drag the polish to a point for the bottom of the heart and fill it in. You can go back with the white polish to clean up the shape if needed. Repeat these hearts on the entire nail. This next design is for a checkered nail using black and aqua polish with aqua as the base color. Take two pieces of scotch tape and align the corners so that they meet in the middle of the nail. Apply the black polish over the untaped area, then remove the tape. I totally forgot to film cleaning up around the nail, but you'll definitely want to do that and fix any sections that are missed. This design is for some colorful marble nails using white, green, purple, red, and yellow polish with white as the base color. Drip the purple polish into a cup of water, then take some hairspray and spray it into the cup. I totally did not mean to make it go flying out of the cup, but it actually made a pretty neat design so I just went with it. Now dip your nail into the cup and clean up any excess before removing. Do the same thing with the other colors so that they begin to layer on the nail. I did notice each polish reacted a little differently to the hairspray, so it makes for a cool look on the nail. Now clean up any excess around the nail. Next we have a glitter burst design using black and pink glitter polish with black as the base color. Cut four thin strips of painters or scotch tape and place them on the nail in a burst form coming from the cuticle. Apply the glitter polish over the entire nail, then remove the tape right after. I decided to apply some more glitter polish so that it reaches a little higher. Now clean up around the nail. This design is for a side wave using aqua and purple polish with aqua as the base color. Use painters or scotch tape and carefully cut a piece so that it has a wavy pattern. Place the tape onto the nail, then apply the purple polish and remove the tape right after. Now I'll be showing you a shattered glass or metal design using black polish as the base color. 
Take some aluminum foil and cut a bunch of small pieces. Apply some top coat, then place the foil pieces onto the nail. I'm using a rhinestone picker to pick up the foil, but you can also use tweezers. For the last design, I'm doing some cute roses using white, pink, light pink, and green polish with white as the base color. Use a toothpick to apply a spot of the pink polish, then right after, apply the light pink on top and carefully swirl the colors together. Do this for the other rose as well, then create small leaves with the green polish. Finally, apply a top coat to help protect your design and add a beautiful shine. So that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more videos on Q Polish, click these boxes and click this circle here to subscribe to Q Polish for a new video every week. And if you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, click this circle here. Thanks for watching!